All right, everybody, welcome to Sat Today. This is a weekly ancestor message that I do. Uh, I hope you're doing great. Yesterday, uh, I did a live for the weekend, gonna be doing more lives. If you've got a topic you would like me to cover in a live and pull cards for each zodiac sign, drop a comment, please. Okay, I'm gonna be doing a lot more lives this year. I feel like that's a great way for us to interact. Okay. Um, also for the Pathfinders, starting in February, all of our lives, our uh, exclusive lives are going to be at one o'clock on Wednesday. That's starting in February. So we got a couple weeks left, but I just want you to know. All right, let's see where we go. Ancestor message coming up for the collective, please. Ancestor message coming up. First week of 2023, first time I'm doing this in 2023. Discovering the truth, ah, discovering the truth. Not just discovering a truth, but discovering the truth. Journey by mid, by moonlight, by midnight, by moon, okay, by midnight, but by moonlight says the card and grace and gratitude. Uh, so there is some kind of um, alignment coming up, some kind of message that comes through Maybe another person, all right? Somebody who you either stumble across a video on YouTube, you might have stumbled across this video on YouTube, um, a book falls off a shelf and you pick it up and it's like, okay, this is the next thing for me. There's something here about your alignment that needs a partner, okay? Or needs a, an outlet, needs a creative outlet, needs a creative uh, partner, needs a creative space. There's some, some of you are, are needing some creative space. And <clears throat> believe in miracles, believe in magic, believe in once you align with this, um, I feel like very soon you're going to be like, wow, I'm so glad that happened. Um, something is coming through to you and it could just be a sentence. You know, there could be something in this reading. I will do an extended for this, but in this YouTube reading, there could be something coming through here that just makes so much sense to you that you're like, oh God, why didn't I see that before now? All right. And it kind of leads to other things. It leads to opening you up to love or opening you up to your next path. And it's a total, you know, I was going to say coincidence, but you know, there's no such thing. So it's kind of like you're being led, you're being drawn to a video or a person you may never watch before or something that isn't uh, normally in front of you. Some of you have been really trying to figure things out with your own brain, but I feel like it's got to come from, it's got to come through another source. It's almost like too much thinking or too much anxiety, too much middle of the night, and you're not going um, in the in the right direction, or you're not really getting it yet. You're not grasping it yet. So let's see where we go here. Um, underneath is the King of Wands. Absolutely, that action orientation. Aries, Leo, Sag. I'll pull cards for each zodiac sign in the extended, FYI, okay? Um, the Sun... The devil energy, wow. Seven of wands, queen of wands, right next to the king. Beautiful, beautiful. Four of swords, nine of swords. There's that anxiety, healing the anxiety. Really nice. Judgment, justice, wow. And the emperor, my, 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 my. We've got some powerful fire sign energy here. Aries, Leo, Sag. We've got Libra, we've got Capricorn. Um, all zodiac signs though will show up in the extended that I'll, that'll be my intention. Okay. All right. So I almost feel like what's, what makes you happy or what's going to make you happy is about getting rid of this anxiety, getting rid of this lack of self-belief or self-doubt or something like that. That's a big issue here. With justice and judgment, that's a that's a crossroads, that's a balancing energy. I love the four of swords next to the nine of swords. That's definitely healing energy, healing the anxiety. And it's like, it's finally like you're trusting yourself, okay? And the way to get there is not to run away, but to be like, I am totally open to this, what this is. It's like, it's possible 
what I mean by that is the seven of wands here, it's possible that in the past you've really been resisting. You could have been resisting a, a love partner or resisting commitment of some kind, resisting doing something that will help other people or will be the right path for you. But there's definitely something standing in the way. There's like an anxiety about this, an anxiety about commitment, an anxiety about taking the first steps, even if it's toward happiness. Son, there's a, a fear. There's a fear that if I go toward, if I adapt, if I grow, if I move in a new direction, the truth is that's where expansion lies, okay? You can't stand still. There's really no such thing, okay? There's really no such thing. Who's this? Oh, Mr. Charlie is here. Um, there's really no such thing. So in this energy, look at this, the King and Queen of Wands. It might not be somebody who does YouTube videos that's telling you the, giving you the message. It might be somebody who is a future partner. Oops, sorry there, bite it. Um, and I like this judgment and justice card together because this does say to me, judgment is like, okay, we're to the end of the line here. And do you just want to fall off a cliff or do you want to balance and keep going and take action based on what you learn when you get out of your own anxiety head about a situation? Right, like some of you may know that a relationship is ending, but you don't want it to end or you don't feel like there's something fearful about it ending. And so you're trying to keep it going, but you know, you know when that's working and you know when it's not working, right? We can all agree on that. You know when it's working and you know when it's not working. And just because something's not working doesn't mean it's time for it to end. But I'm, I'm talking to those of you who have been trying to hold on to something that you know needs to change. Let's just call it change. Because I, I don't think this is ending. I think this is like a fear of things changing. A fear of adaptation. A fear of moving to the next level. A fear of what happens if, if I allow this change, will we still stay together? Will, you know, if I want to go toward being an entrepreneur, will I be able to still have the lifestyle that I have created if I go in this other direction? So there's definitely a sense of balance here. Some of you are really discovering some new happiness. What makes you happy? What brings you joy? And then right away, there's this sense of like, nope, can't do that. Nope, I'm resisting that. Nope, can't work. And I almost feel like someone has to come in and kind of like, I, I'm getting this energy of like a repeated, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Like there's a belief in your head that says, if I want to step into happiness, I have to give up my autonomy or I have to, stop doing what I'm doing um, and give my soul over or something like that. Like you have to go down roads that you don't want to go down. But here's the thing. I almost feel like some of you don't want to go down these roads because you're afraid of becoming stuck. You're afraid of, especially Saggies. Saggies love freedom. So commitment can stand for something that is exactly the opposite of that. But I do feel like when we make commitments, um, we can make commitments based on the idea that it brings us autonomy or it brings us more freedom. It brings us more health and well-being. It brings us more good stuff. All right. And I like this, that the judgment and justice cards show up because after this four of swords and nine of swords, because it's almost like, okay, I'm standing in my power. What will be, will be. I know this is the right path for me to go down. I'm scared about it because I don't know exactly what that looks like. And it's bringing up a lot of anxiety, but I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on going right toward the thing that I'm being called to do. Some of you, it's a relationship. Some of you, it's a breaking with a tradition because the devil is connected to Saturn, which is very traditional. It's like, this is the way we do things here. 
Some of you are afraid to give up that kind of comfort or safety. I'm going to clarify this judgment and justice and emperor card because I love that there's healing right next to anxiety and standing up to a to an energy of um, suffocation or structure. There's a standing up to it. And this judgment card, judgment um, is that moment when we call we are called to account. So there's something here about accountability. If you are someone who is working at a job that you don't feel benefits humanity, even if your particular job description isn't the thing that directly benefits humanity, if you're working in a company that you feel good about, right, that you feel like is doing good work, okay. But if you're involved in a company that you're like, I don't align with this at all, but I'm an accountant or but I'm a marketing director, but I'm a thing. If you're out of alignment with where you are right now, a person or a place or a thing, if you're out of alignment with that, that's the thing that's going to show up in this crossroads of like accountability. Like where are we going next? You have to account. You have to look back on was I a good steward of humanity? I definitely am feeling like the pull towards the Aquarian age where we have to understand that we can no longer just do stuff for money, especially if it hurts other people. We can't do that. And we can't do something that is also going to hurt us, right? Like personally, the, hum the, um, the, um, the human family, we have to become more accountable for what we're doing and align ourselves with healing and joy and balance and structure slash creativity, allowing for creativity, right? We have to get into that new paradigm and leaving the old paradigm can be really scary, okay? Because if we have been, if we have operated our entire lives based on the old paradigm, then does that mean in the new paradigm that I'm, I don't know. It's a very big thing, especially the older you are, the more you have become in, in, ingrained in a society. When the society changes, it can be very tough on those on elders or on people who have been around for decades. They're like, oh, wait, we're not playing this game anymore. We're playing this game now. I don't mean to liken it to a game, but I do think, I think humanity is moving in more of a direction of heart and kindness and let's help each other. Okay, I do feel like that very strongly. I've heard other people talk about it. I've been feeling that for quite a long time. The, the level of accountability that is going to be required is at a heart level an alignment level. And that is different. It's at a human level. Where is the humanity in things? And if you're aligned with caring about humanity, I think you're in a good place. If you're aligned with, I just need to do something that makes money. I don't care if it hurts the environment. I don't care if it hurts. I don't care who it hurts, right? Like if you're just aligned with that, then you're going to find that that is going to kind of dry up. And that's really how I see us evolving from a corporate culture, a culture of, um, of um, really top-down uh, financial repression of people and things like that. Like we've got to be very circumspect about how we're going to choose to move forward as a collective, as a human family. And that's what's being asked here on a personal level, too. How are you showing up in the world? Do you have, I mean, that's why empaths, empaths for the win, okay? Because that is your main focus, always, is humanity. And that is the new superpower. So those without humanity, those without empathy, those kill or be killed kind of experiences, uh, by the time we get to 2030, aren't going to exist anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So this is what's going on here. I do. See, I love this emperor energy. 
about moving forward with gusto, with fire, with determination, with inspiration, and in a balanced way. Justice. Justice is accountability. And for those of, for those of you, for those of us who are like, nope, not doing this anymore, not doing the thing that's going to hurt people, not doing the thing that's going to um, damage um, humanity or uh, keep people down. Not going to do that. So we're going in a new direction here. And I like it. I like this emperor because it's about taking the lead. So any of you watching this, one of the messages here is how can you lead from a position of heart, from a place of your heart? That's the place to start, 2023. All right. If you want to continue on, if this is your reading, if you feel aligned with this, I will do an extended reading. There is a link below if you like to come along with me. Um, have a wonderful weekend. If not, <laughs> I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.